Here are loads of interesting styles that you can use for ArcGIS Pro. We are going to focus on Sampler. Now Sampler is a style that turns your vector layers into things that look like they were stitched. Tapestry, needle and thread, cross stitch, that sort of thing. I'll download this style. And down here at the bottom I've got a couple resources as well. So a graphic that looks like one of those cool hoop stretchers and then a frame graphic. And we'll use these to overlay our map in a layout in ArcGIS Pro. So I'll save this one. And I'll save this one. Okay, here we are in ArcGIS Pro. Let's add this style to Pro via the catalog. And in the project folder, you can see a list of items. Styles is one of them. You can right click, choose add style, and then point to the place where you downloaded that sampler style. So I'll choose this, hit OK. And now it's in my project ready for me to use um, via the symbology panel. But first, we need some data. So let's use the living atlas to populate this map with some vector data. So with the add data dialog open, I've selected the living atlas tab. Now the living atlas is just a big resource full of amazing data that you can pull into your own web maps or ArcGIS Pro maps. Uh, it's a great resource. So first I'm going to start with global background. And this is just what it sounds like, a big empty rectangle, but it's so handy. I use it all the time. Next, we'll add some layers for countries. And I'll choose world countries generalized. And lastly, I'll add some national parks of Ireland, just as our feature layer. So national parks. Points of interest in the National Parks of Ireland. And there they are. So come in here, take a look at what we've got. And first, I'm going to style this global background to look like a base layer of fabric for our cross stitch. And that's available in the sampler style. So if you've installed the style into your ArcGIS Pro project, it'll be available here in the gallery tab of your Symbology panel. Next, I'll turn on World Countries Generalized. And I only want to show Ireland for this layer. So I'll look at the properties for this. I'll add what's called a definition query, where I say country is equal to Ireland. And there it is. So now I'm only seeing Ireland. But I also want to have a layer that I can style for countries that are not Ireland. So I've duplicated this layer via a copy paste. And I'll drag it down here. And I'll just reverse this definition query to say country is not equal to Ireland. And for the non-Ireland countries, let's look at the symbol options for these. I'm going to use Brick Stitch Fill. Now this could take a while to render because there's an awful lot going on in this layer. Then in the Properties tab, instead of the default blue color, let's give this something along themes of an Irish centric map. I'll choose fern green. Now for Ireland, which is my area of interest, I'll choose the same stitch from the gallery, Rick Stitchville, and I'll give it a color that's also green but a bolder version. So I'm going to choose Peacock Green.
And now here are those national parks. If I select this layer, instead of unique values, I'll just choose single symbol since I'm going to style them all the same as a stitch. I'll select that symbol and from the gallery panel, I'll choose the plus stitch. And then I'll change it to something kind of orange like Seville orange looks good. Okay, so now we've got our map of Irish national parks. Now it's time to label these things. Also included in the sampler style for ArcGIS Pro is a set of labels. So with this layer selected, I'll go into the labeling tab and I'll choose paper label tiny and I'll activate it. Now these look like little archival tabs with typed labels on them, which is kind of fun. And I'm going to push that font size down a little bit. Now it's time to construct our layout. So in the layout, I've added this map already. I'll activate this frame and I'll zoom in to Ireland and center it. Now that the map's in about the arrangement that I want, I can exit that activation, go back to the layout, and now I'm going to insert my round hoop frame. So the insert tab, and then there's an option for picture. And I'll find the graphic that I downloaded from the styles page, and add this, and define its extent as being filling the layout. And there we go. And let's say I wanted to add another archival label here that says the National Parks of Ireland. I can insert text and I'll choose the rectangle option. And I'll draw an extent here and I'll call it the National Parks of Ireland. Ireland. And with it selected, I'll format this text as one of my label styles. And to give it a slight realistic effect, I'll just make it a little bit crooked. Now, how do I share this with people? Well, there's a share tab. And I can choose to share the layout as an image. And it's up to me how I um, define the output resolution and what format I would like. So this looks good. Let's hit export. And here's my completed map image, ready to share. So give this a shot, have fun. Find interesting data to turn into cross-stitched tapestries and go to town. Happy mapping.